what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video man this game is beautiful it's, uh, it's one thing i love to do in this game is i just love jumping on and fishing it's just i don't know it, 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 i get that same feeling when i'm fishing out in real life you know what i'm saying i, I just enjoy the scenery i enjoy the sounds and and i enjoy the the effort and the the, the time Rockstar took to put into this amazingly beautiful game. With that being said, it appears that Rockstar is on the move to remaster the Grand Theft Auto trilogies, Grand Theft Auto 3, San Andreas, and uh, Vice City. Now, with that being said, and that sounds all good and everything, I mean, uh, those games are fan favorites all around. Uh, a remaster to those games would do it justice especially if they can make them look as beautiful as this game does right here now with that being said them working on a remaster and basically i don't know shifting resources from current titles like this not gta 5 because that game is currently kicking so much ass right now that there's no need to do anything to it that will hurt people love gta 5 i understand that that's the way things are and that's the way they're gonna be gta is where it's at gta has always been the game that had uh people's hearts but in an article from from kotaku the this article reports that it could be some disappointing news for Red Dead fans out there, considering that Rockstar is basically shifting resources from this game and the development of this game, which means that we could, we one will not be seeing many more updates for Red Dead Online, you know, and uh, two, it, shit, it could be going, it could be on its way to, you know, being cut off. Which at this point in his life cycle, in my opinion, and I hate to say it because it hurts me just as much as it's going to hurt me to say it and for y'all to hear it, but I think it'll be for the best. I've always felt that Red Dead Online, even in Red Dead 1, was not as important to Rockstar as Grand Theft Auto was. And when they made Red Dead 2 and it released just campaign, dude, I was satisfied with that. The game, the campaign mode of the game has so much to do that we want in Red Dead Online that they have not put in the game for whatever reason. And it could be due to what we, what I'm talking about now, about the fact that we're going to be getting these remasters uh, for the old GTAs. And you already know if they have to take time to get away, to take time away from a current title. That, that people actually want to see updates for. And it's not like that they they can have a huge issue or they would have a huge issue, you know, uh, updating this game with content that's relevant to the to the game itself. You know, uh, they tried with the new update, the Blood Money update, they tried a few things that, you know, you got a taste of a train robbery, you know what I'm saying? But it, it, there's so much more that can be done in the west the west is a time of lawlessness you know what i'm saying it's a time where uh, uh outlaws were, were, were taking over and we needed they, they, they there were lawmen needed to to rein this in you know what i'm saying cops and robbers you know there's so much more that can be done in red dead you know with fight clubs and bank heists you know open world events like stagecoach robberies and train robberies and whatnot you know what i'm saying you name it you know what i'm saying you drop down in the comment section and let me know what what you think would come to what you would like to see come to red dead but at this point it'll be all for not you know what i'm saying and, and like i said earlier the best thing that i believe that they could do right now and for this game if they're not going to basically come with any more updates they need to kill it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not just saying the online mode, not the not the campaign mode. That on the campaign mode, that's where all the bread, that's where the bread and butter is at. That's where the life of the game is. You know what I'm saying? The animal spawns, the, the hunting, the fishing, the uh the 
open world events that happen. I mean, it is a free roam game after all. And you know, you don't have to necessarily follow the storyline all the way through. You can still have fun in the game. You know what I'm saying? And you can still have fun in the game online too, but if they're not going to support it anymore because they're going to be looking to support the new GTA trilogy remasters that they're talking about coming out with, I don't know. That leads me to my next topic. GTA remasters. What can we expect from those games? You know what I'm saying? Or will they be will there be online modes in these games? You know what I'm saying? I know they're going to to, to remaster them and make them look better and make them run better and play better for the new systems and whatnot. But what's to come along with those games to make them worth being remastered other than just being fan favorite fan favorite games to come back and look better on next gen systems and whatnot? Because I think that that's a huge waste in a way and a huge lost opportunity for them to actually bring some notable content to red dead online but again like i say what's the point of wasting their time and money if they're not going if they're already looking toward the future people are already clamoring for gta 6 you know what i'm saying and, and with that that right there alone would have them divert more than enough resources away from red dead to get that game to the quality that we're going to be looking for when it releases, whenever it releases, you know. So yeah, that with this, what do you think about this? Well, you, you think that Red Dead should just go ahead and hang it up in the, in lieu of the GTA re, re, uh, remasters, seeing as that most of the resources that we have and that they can afford to, you know, shift are coming from the Red Dead Online side. You know what I mean, like. That means that this game is going to get even less than it already has been getting, and that it hasn't been getting much, guys. You know what I mean? So how do you feel about that? Could this be the end of Red Dead? Should they just go ahead, shut it down, and, and add, you know, story mode content to the game to keep it going? It was, it'll be something that they wouldn't have to worry about too much because they don't have to appease the online community. All they have to do is just drop an update here and an update there. You know, and it'll keep the keep at least that side of the game going, and it'll keep Red Dead fans happy at the for the moment. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section what you think about this. Are you excited for some Red Dead remasters, or you think it's just another cash grab or another waiting game to keep y'all on the hook until GTA 6 arrives? Guys, don't forget to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh. Get active down below in the comments, man. Let's talk about this because I love this game. And I love what this game provides me as a player in, the, in, the, in the, out here in the five states. I enjoy coming out here and chilling and catching fish and, 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 and causing trouble out here in the West. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I was a man born in a different time period like Marv on, uh, on, 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 on the Sin City. He should have been born in the West. Well, I mean, I can live off the land and, and, and I ain't have to worry about no man coming up on my property who I didn't know to try to take from me. Because guess what? He's going to end up in the do it. Guys, y'all have a good day. Stay safe out there. Practice social distancing. Wear your mask and don't let nobody tell you that you ain't the best. Y'all have a good one. Peace.